Now, in the past 15 years, we've had stories of every aspect of aviation that you can think of, historical, personal, military, about a particular aircraft. Everything except one. Can uh, anyone suggest what we haven't talked about? Could it be something to do with balsa wood? Yeah. Mosquitoes! <laughs> Talk about that later, Richard, yes. <laughs> model aircraft. Who has built a model aircraft of any sort? I'm impressed. So that's, for me, that's what started me on this aviation journey. So that 10 year old got the, the glider kit, a bit of balsa, some plans and some wood, played around with that glider. That got me hooked. And in Air Cadets, I saved up my money and bought a little diesel engine, another kit, and uh, built that. And I think I've still got the scars from the fingers that were turning over the propeller. You know what I mean? So, castor oil, nitromethane, and methanol. Boy, I love the smell of that stuff. Working with balsa wood is delightful. It's easy to cut, shape, sand and paint. But what exactly is balsa wood? Well, it might surprise you to learn that it is a hardwood. That's right, it's a hardwood. Latin name of Chroma pyramidale, large, fast-growing tree that can grow up to 30 metres tall, grows 12 feet a year, harvested at six to eight years, native to tropical South America, now found in many other tropical countries. The lightness of the wood is due to its fast growing, so it creates these large cells. Uh, in fact, it's lighter than cork. Uh, Ecuador, surprisingly, supplies 95% of commercial balsam and 60% of that is plantation grown. But after harvesting, the wood is kiln dried, leaving the cells hollow and empty, but structurally strong. The de Havilland mosquito use balsa in construction, as do cores of wind turbine blades and table tennis bats. The mosquito's fly skin had no rivets, and so the skin was perfectly smooth, and that helped make it a very fast aircraft. Balsa in Spanish means raft, thank you. However, it doesn't float well, so it's a pretty poor raft. Other woods used in aircraft include Sitka spruce, birch ash, Douglas fir, mahogany and some pines. Balsa is cheap and readily available. This piece of wood I got from Bunnings. Constructing a ribbed dihedral wing complete with ailerons from balsa wood was a thing of joy and I was sad to cover it up and dope it. Giving a kit to your grandchildren may be the best present they ever get.